Hello everyone, welcome to another unboxing video for watches. Back to watches, yes, back to watches. The next few videos should be watches. And here, in this nice uh, vista <laughs> of the ground. But still a nice view. Uh, at least for me, it's a very nice view. Uh, I will still be competing with the noise from the street outside, so apologies for that. Uh, wrist check before we get started i'm still wearing the uh orange aragon dive master really like this watch and yes again i still call it my orange the orange watch yes inspired by the actual fruit not the color the fruit and this round nature it kind of looks like there's a little stem coming out the top with the loom there but uh yeah let's just get to this unboxing this is a watch from watch gang all I know is that this is a Zodiac watch. It'll be my first Zodiac watch. I have no idea what type of Zodiac it is. It could be anything from a Grand Rally to a Seawolf. I have no idea. So I'll find out with you. So let's let's get started. Let's get this open. Wait, this. There we go. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put the knife away. And let's, let's take a look at what we have here. All right. Indistinctive box. All right. Sounds like the ice cream person's wandering around. Ha. Zodiac. So let's, let's get this going. All right. If I were to guess, I'd say it's a Grand Rally. You can see our guest over there. Uh, if, if I had to guess, this will be a Grand Rally because that's the the cheapest one available for, for this contest, I believe. Huh. Uh, let us see what this is. Zodiac. Grand Rally it is. It has a big sticker in front of us. It's Sapphire Crystal. That's nice of them to let us know. Uh... Nice of them. Right. Sticker in the back as well. Thankfully, not the whole thing is covered in plastic, so that's. You guys know how much I dislike that. Hate's a strong word. <laughs> All right. This looks pretty nice. I'm not a huge fan of uh, chronographs, as I think I've mentioned in the past. But, uh, this is pretty nice. Yeah, you can see the, the chronograph run in there. Let's send it back. Alright. You can see the second hand running right here. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's set the time on this one. It is, let's put it at one. And then just move the time the wrong way. Until it resets to two. And then go a little bit further. that was all right so it reset to two and let's go a little bit further past that again past noon 
All right. And let's bring it down to four, two. All right, there we are. The time is set. And it's screwed back in. All right, so it has a, a different leather. Had bumpy, <laughs> kind of bumpy leather there. But it, it, it looks pretty nice and the, the chronograph isn't overstated in a sense where the bumps don't, uh, the buttons don't go too far out. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's growing on me. So I guess it's time to try it on, right? So let's, let's take off the Aragon. Uh, the, I should note that the uh, Zodiac is a quartz watch. The other, I think some of the other available ones were automatics. So let's, well, let's try this one on, shall we? It's a little stiff. But it, that should that should be fixed over time uh, with the wear. So yeah, it's a little smaller than the 50 millimeter Aragon, but uh, still wears nicely, I think, just in my view. So yeah, that's that's pretty nice. You can see the tachometers. We're in the chronograph again. I wonder what this is. Is this a measure of the chronograph? So I'm going to let it do a whole rotation to see if it moves. Because it could be the way to track the minutes for the chronograph, which I'm betting it is. But. Uh, if it wasn't that, I would have thought it would have 31 to... But that wouldn't work since the date window is right here, so there's no point to that. So I'm guessing it's a way to track the minutes of the chronograph. And we'll see if it moves once it gets to noon. The 12 marker, I mean. The 60 second marker. Yes, it is. It is that exactly. All right. So let's fix that up. Bring it back to new. And I think that'll call it for me today. You can see the luminescent hands. But I can't see any more luminescence in there. And I can't really test it here. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you're all enjoying your watches. And I hope you all have a great day. So, have a good one. Bye.